My video on the Thule Easy Fold bike rack has gotten over 40,000 views on YouTube and I've gotten a lot of questions because of that. So today I'm going to answer or try to answer some of the most common questions that I get or I've seen on forums about the Thule Easy Fold bike rack. By far the most asked question is about the straps. People get the straps on the Thule Easy Fold. It does not come with the extra long straps. It comes with the short straps. So you've got to buy these extra long straps if you've got a fat tired bike. Otherwise it won't go around them. So this is a pretty expensive rack, you know, retail. It goes for over 700 bucks, maybe 700 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, if you watch my video, you'll see how I got mine for not quite half price at the time. But uh, you would think for the price of the rack that they would throw in two sets of straps in case you had a fat tire bike, but no. So you need to buy the, the extra long straps if you're going to put a fat tire bike on this rack. Another common question is, does a fat tire bike actually fit on the Thule Easy Fold? So, yes it does. You just want to make sure that the straps are going and they're laying flat on the rim like this and that they're fully engaged. So, you know, you can thread the straps here, but you don't just pull down here. You can use this as a ratchet. And just make it very snug. Don't overly tighten it. You don't want to bend any spokes, but you can do that. And then to release it, you just press it like that. And ratchet it down. But it, it does sit in this channel. Here you can see how close my bike, which is a large bike, comes to the end of the, the carrier. But it's still sitting. There's where it starts getting air, right there. So it's still flat on the carrier, still plenty of contact surface. Here's a shot of the back and how far the tire hangs off of the back of the rack. Again, all you gotta do is ratchet those down. This thing's not going anywhere. These straps are really, really nice, heavy duty straps. Something that's gonna definitely have to break in order for this to go wrong. And here you can see the channel. The channel for the tire that's in the rack and how the fat tire bike sits in that channel. So it's plenty. My wife's bike, which is a Rad Mini, sits over here in this channel. And of course, it's not as long, so it doesn't really hang off the rack. I've never had a problem with this. Always take your battery off whenever you put your bike on your rack. Uh, anything else that really adds weight or could come loose. You can see up here I've got my, my uh, peak bag off the slider mount for the wreck just take everything off people have a hard time figuring out where to mount on your bike on the frame because e-bikes are so different they have the step throughs um, the battery takes up a lot of space you've got to find a good spot where this mounts and then my advice is once you figure it out take a picture of it for reference because if you don't put your bike on your rack all the time to be honest, I get two bikes on here. I got so many, uh, so many bars going different ways. I just use a picture on my cell phone as a reference to make sure I get it right each and every time. Because again, I don't want this coming off. So this is where I mount mine on this stem here, and I'll show you how this how this mounts and how it mounts to the to the rack itself and the flexibility you have in order to find the right spot for. Uh, the mounting point, but these mounts they're very good This goes all the way tight until It clicks There so you heard that pop that means it's maximum maximum tension. It's not going anywhere It's got a lock on here sure you can de defeat the lock, but you know not for the everyday common person um, But that is on there this this bike is not going anywhere just to show you I'll go ahead and I'll tilt it back. That's, that's kind of cool. You can tilt that all the way back. I got full access to the, the back of my vehicle with the tailgate and 
This thing's just not going anywhere. I could put two bikes on here and still tilt that back. Let's talk about this mounting point. So I explained to you the jaws, these are rubber coated, screws it in, you can adjust it as far as it needs to go. It has an automatic tension uh, limit on it so it'll pop when you get the right amount of tension and then you can lock it. So let's, let's talk about this mounting point here. What you have to do is you, you loosen the knob and that gives this some play back here. Then you pull back on this and that pops out. Now, so that it doesn't pop out while you're traveling, when you tighten this, it pulls this in. So now, if I wanted to try to remove this, I can't get it out. Well thought out. So I'm gonna loosen this and I'll be able to pull this out, loosen it just a little bit more. I'll be able to pull this out and that's how that locks on there. You see like this, and then that collar, it's got a spring in there, so it's pulling itself back in. You can see that, it's pulling itself back in. So here's the thing. When you're looking for the place to mount this, on your frame, you can move this anywhere on this bar, all the way down, even on the curvy points, it'll go in. You can see that down there. And the curves, it'll still mount. And I can tighten it on there. So this thing comes with, you know, one mounted here, and I believe one mounted over here, but you can move this anywhere you want on this bar and it doesn't have to be on opposite sides you just got to get it to a good point and then you can articulate this this way as well to reach down to reach over to reach straight down this will move this goes 360 degrees i mean it's almost limitless so make sure you remove the battery on your bike when you put this on, when you put your bike on the mount or on the rack and make sure that you move this around and you should be able to find a point on your step through or on your different bikes where this would work and mount to the bike. It's really universal. If you can't get your e-bike on this rack, I think you're doing something wrong. So these are just some of the, the, some of the tips from somebody that's owned this rack for a while. I'm going to give you one more last uh, tip before I go this is gonna be the bonus tip and that is on these ramps now this is the the new extended ramp that Thule offers and I've got a video on that on my channel the the stock ramp it just makes it too steep particularly on I've got a Dodge Durango here so the rack kind of sits up high but here's the tip when you put this in it's got a it's got a tip here a rubber tip and it slides into this slot, okay? And then it stops. That's not enough. You wanna lock it in there and engage it, otherwise this could come out. So what you do is, you push it in. Hold it up like this, and, and it'll snap. It's kinda of difficult, but it snaps all the way in. This is the full engagement you want before you roll your bicycle up this ramp. Don't put it in there where it stops, because it stops right there and do it like this. Hold, hold it up, push it all the way in, and then it's locked and that's not coming out while you put your bike up there. When I first got this rack, um, I didn't know that it went in any further and I had it in that much right there and literally, the as I was rolling up there, the front tire, this came out, popped out, and the bike went to the ground. Didn't hurt anything, but it did go down. This is as it was intended to be used, right here. That's it for the most common questions that I get on the channel about this uh, easy fold rack. Uh, if you have any further questions, put them down below and I'll see if I can get to them. 
And if you like this video or found it interesting or informative, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.